Hey, shooters, casters, and loaders, this is JH586. I'm Jamie. I'm at Kyle's house today. Say hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Uh, I came down to cast some bullets. <laughs> uh, we were over here just a minute ago, and uh, Kyle was saying, look at all this ink I got for Willie Bullet Man. About that time Willie texted you, right? It was That, that, was, that was weird. Speak of the devil and up he pops. <laughs> I know. Uh, I got this in the mail this morning. I wanted y'all to see what it was. How you like that, Kyle? Oh, I want to this play with it. Lyman, Lyman Ammo Checker. This is for eight different types of handgun ammunition. You uh, want me to send me a link to that thing? I kind of like that. I've been looking for something like that. I got it off Amazon. It was like 28 bucks. I got some case gauges, but I like the, the way Lyman's put all in one. That, that's... Yeah, this will save nice. you some money. Uh, nice. The Hornady ones were like 18 bucks for each single. Right. I'm each familiar. <laughs> single caliber. But, yeah, you got, what what round is that you got laying over there by the casting pot? Let's dunk, dunk, chunk it in here. Well, it's right here, huh? Here's a, this is a 45 ACP, Ant. Yeah. I'm assuming that is a dummy round. Oh, yeah. This is my... 45 or 44 hollow point Elmer Keith style bullet. We're gonna make some hollow points today. All right. Getting everything warmed up. Very first time it's gonna have lead in it. You're gonna be here to witness. 45 ACP. Look, it goes down below the. Goes below the. Oh, you're looking cool. for stuff to test already? Yeah. <laughs> you get a new toy, you gotta try it out, brother. I seen a bullet over there. See what that is. Let's plunk it. There's a nine millimeter. I got bullets just laying around. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, all they they do too. Kyle. <laughs> Look, it goes. You just drop it right in. It's below the level. Plops right out. That's why you know it's it'll fit in. This is supposed to be a uh, Sammy minimum chamber. Okay, I want to show y'all something else. Uh, uh, this show... luck, this lucky dog has stumbled on the score of the century. Everybody take a look. Uncle Jim, you'll appreciate this. <laughs> yes, uh, this is the mold I showed y'all last night. This is what I came down here to use. This is a two seven nine one sixty grain. Yeah. Five cavity flat nose. Check it out. Pretty NOE note mold. We're gonna have some fun with this today. You I want also to heat treated it or, or we need to heat uh, treat it. The guy I got it from said he'd already used it a couple of times. Okay. So okay, yard sale finds. Three five eight four seven seven Lyman. This is a two cavity mold. It's one of those iron ones. Very high quality stuff right here. Are we sure we want to send Willie all this zinc? Maybe we should keep it and start making some zinc bullets. Well, I got some molds we can make <laughs> some zinc bullets with. The zinc ain't going to hurt these things. I, I don't believe. Do you? No, that's what Willie says. He's just best to use those. And here's another one. This is a. Three five eight one eight six. This is a. Both of these are semi wide cutters. They're very Keith looking bullets, and I think there's only five grain difference. I think uh, one is a one fifty five grain. The other one's a hundred and fifty grain. We're gonna have a Keith party today. Yes, and then this one. <laughs> this is a. The. Another one. This is a. 30 caliber, it's a 311 140. It's either 140 or 130 grains, but you can see it's got that nice round point on it. That's gonna be a nice 300 blackout round, I think, sir. <laughs> well, I was thinking of using it in uh, 30 out six. I could use it in 30 30, but I'd have to single, yeah. single feed them. It's the only bad thing about them tubular magazines. I know it, but uh, that's part of what we love about them. It is. <laughs> But uh, just wanted to show y'all that. Now these four molds, I got four of them. One of them I sent to the reloading press. Sent, it's reloading sent, press now, yes. Sent one to Nathan. And uh, I was gonna say that's the way I know it. <laughs> I got all, <laughs> I got all four of these molds um, at a estate sale. Back about a, it was about this time last year, and I hadn't had a chance to use any of them. Wow. So uh, it's been a good day today, and uh, getting broke in. Yeah, we're looking forward to getting some casting. What's the lead looking like over there? We're ready to roll. We're at uh, 
Well, we're 650, but we're warming up a really big mold. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, we got three molds. What well, you need to put your hollow point mold on that. We, I brought a My electric... hollow point mold sitting in the lead. It's getting oh, warmed it's, up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to heat them is to come from the bottom up because it's got all those pins in them. But we're excited to be. Uh, have some time to spend together today and we're going to cast some bullets and we'll come back in a little while and tell y'all how it turned out and it's hot it is hot <laughs> uh kyle's youngest that's your youngest son yeah yeah that's Taylor. and he's bigger than me y'all i mean <laughs> he's massive but he's in there he's smarter than us he's watching youtube videos on his on his iPhone with headphones on and air conditioning. And uh, we're out here talking to an iPhone in the heat. Right. And we'll uh we'll uh we'll be back in a little while and show you some of the bullets we're able to cast. See you okay, in a minute. we're back. There's some bullets. Those are Kyle's forty four mag bullets, hollow points. We've been struggling out here in this heat today. There's some two seventy bullets. None of them really turned out real well. And here's a whole nother pile. Those are 30 caliber and 270 caliber. And um, Kyle's lady friend Angel dropped by when she got off work. So we had to straighten up and act right. <laughs> Say hey, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get Kyle's a lot happier than he was before she got here. But well, we got to sort these out and throw the bad ones away. One thing we've noticed about the NOE molds is they're so thick that we've really got to run the run them hot and the mixture hot, right? That, yeah, you got to continuously pour and discard and pour and or well, not discard but dump, pour, dump, pour, dump, pour, dump. Keep them keep them really hot. I, I found that on every single NOE mold that I own. It, it they're so well made and so thick. You got to just keep them hot. Well, they're a lot more substantial than those little two cavity lee molds. Right. So um, I got to get out of here. Storm's brewing in. Well, guys, we're going. To, I'm going to head back to Rome, Georgia, and they're getting ready for supper. So we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.